Number 46, raindrops fall 1700 meters from a cloud to the ground. So we have a cloud over here and we have the ground over here and the distance is 1700 meters. Letter A, if they, they, they were not slowed by air resistance, how fast would the drops be moving when they struck the ground? Letter B, would it be safe to walk outside during a rainstorm? So this is a constant acceleration problem. So when the acceleration is constant, we have three different equations that we can use, which are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. We can also use v equals to v0 plus a t and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So if you don't know which equations should you, you should use, we can use this technique over here. Just mark the things that you don't know. So let's call first, let's call that the positive direction is upwards and we will say that this is zero meters and this is 1700 meters, right? We have to, to choose which way is positive and which way is negative. So let's see. We know the final position of the droplet. Let's think the droplet over here and it, it falls. We know the, 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 the final position of the droplet. We know it's zero meters, right? We know the initial position. We know the initial position as well. It is 1700 meters. We know the, the, the initial velocity. We know because it starts from rest. So we do know. The time it takes to reach the ground, we don't know. The acceleration of the gravity, we know. And the time it takes to reach the ground, we don't know. So if you want to find the time to reach the ground, we should use the first equation over here. Second equation. The final velocity, we don't know. The initial velocity, we do know. The acceleration, we know as well. And the time it took to reach the ground, we don't know. So we have two, dif two different things that we don't know in this equation. And we can't use it uh, f from the start. So the final equation, the final velocity, we don't know. The initial velocity, we know. The acceleration, we know. And delta x, we know as well. So if you want to find the velocity, the final velocity, which equation should you, you use? This equation over here. So if you mark the things that we, you don't know in the equations, it's really easy to choose which equation you should use. So let's go. So V squared equals to V zero squared plus two times A times delta X. So V zero is equal to zero. The acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per square second. Why minus and not plus 9.8? Because we choose that the, the, the plus sign is, to, is upwards and not downwards. Since the acceleration is downwards, so the acceleration is negative. And delta x is equal to the final x minus the initial x. The final x is 0. And the initial x is 1700. So this is equal to minus 1700 meters. So let's just isolate V. And that's it. So V equals to plus minus the square root of V0 square plus 2 times A times delta x. And this is equal to plus minus the square root of 0 square plus my, uh, 2 times minus 9.8 times minus 1700. And this is equal to plus minus, uh, let's see, 183 meters per second. And now we have to choose the sign of the velocity, the final velocity, since the droplet is falling and downwards is negative we can choose only the negative sign over here. So the answer for the final velocity is minus 183 meters per second. So this is the answer of letter A. Letter B, would it be safe to walk outside during a rainstorm? I don't think so because 
this velocity over here is really high this is i don't i don't know like 600 kilometers per hour it's like the, the speed of a plane so letter b it is no it would not be safe <laughs>